All right, guys and girls, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, check it out, guys. This is part seven of this 2006 Kia Sportage. We had took out the engine, we went to do the head gaskets, and this has turned into a nightmare. So, thanks to JJ. Yo, appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Asked me a question during the last video. Asked me what's going on with it. So I said, wow, wait a minute. What is going on with it? I don't know. So we're going to let you know what's going on with this vehicle. Coming up today on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, here it is. Um, dang it, guys, you know, I, I apologize. I know I should have been recording it, but it was on the concrete over there. But we got other things up there going on now. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's all done. It's jo the job came out really good. I'm happy with it. I get that off of there. <coughs> I can't be driving with that on it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's check this out. Check this out, guys. This thing came out great, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah, I just had to get it off the, uh, the concrete over there so we can have other cars to work on. Um, so I just put the tire on. Connected the lower, lower control arm and the outer tie rods, and we pushed it over here. <laughs> you guys was like, y'all y'all starting to get upset. I'm about to get a bunch of hate email. <laughs> so, I had to push this to the side. Now, we look over here. We're going over here. All right, you guys are like, wait a minute. Where's the engine and, and the, the party line of all the parts? Let me get up on here where it gets light. Right now, uh, we on, I'm, doing, I'm doing this... Uh, our rodeo. I did the um, head gaskets and everything came out good. The little plugs right here was leaking oil, so I had to take the timing belt and everything off and get that done, man. This sucks, but uh, that's that's neither here nor there. All right, guys, let's go inside the house. Yeah, it's like, why are you gonna show me inside the house? Well, you about to find out. We'll be right back. All right, guys. This is uh, to you guys who don't know. This is um, our second house. The house that's across the street from our original house. Uh, the people was really bad people here, and we we came across a chance to buy it at a really cheap price. So we bought it. People got put out and all, cause it was just it was just so much drug activity. It was just it was just, it made the whole whole neighborhood messed up, man. I couldn't even sleep at night. So, let's go in here. So, we're still remodeling this. And uh, you go check out our videos. We're going to do another update video on this. But, uh, go over here to this room. Go around here to what's going to be the kitchen. And there it is. Because it's getting cold out in the winter, uh, I don't know about the rain, the snow. So, I figured, you know what? Let's build this inside the house. So, I've got it right here up on the jack stand. And if you look around the room, You'll see all the parts. And I kept in sequence with the party line. So, I know that I start over here. Got my pistons. We're going to get, walk around to our cylinder heads. There's our cams. Everything is still in place, marked. Go around here to the cam gears, the valve covers. Exhaust manifold slash catalytic converters, intake, everything is lined up in order. Except, you know, when I get to this point, the engine better be inside the car already. Uh, this is what I meant, how guys, it's very important to have. And over here, here's our crank. That's the number one thing. And we got our thrust washers over here. So I'm going to keep that with it. And so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to guys how to polish the crank. Real easy DIY way. 
Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying, if you're going to have a job and it's going to be apart for a long time, you definitely want to have you a party line. So that, that way, I can come back two years from now to this job and I know I got to start, well, with the crank and then start right there and work myself around. So, and I just put the thing here and then the sun is shining on it. There it is. So that way it's out of the weather. I don't have to worry about no rust building up everywhere on it. Everything is clean. And being at this house, I know you hear the echo in here. Being at the house is, you know, you can see the floor all messed up and all. So I wasn't worried about messing up anything. And over here, and this was outside, you see what happened to the flex plate. I started to get some surface rust on it. So I'm glad, I'm glad we bought everything inside. All right, let's go back outside. Right back. All right, guys, so let's go over here. There's our van. Uh, we got to do rear brakes on the truck. So, you know, the things, it's a little projects of things, little uh, projects we got to do. Um, so that's really on the back burner right now. But at least I can do it inside the house. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, there you go. There's our update. Definitely everything. So that way, I can be inside. I can, throughout the winter, I can take my time and rebuild that engine. Except for when I have to power wash some stuff. <laughs> so I just got to... Hopefully the water hose is not frozen when I do it. But I can take my time, put this engine together, and we're going to wait till the springtime when it gets a little warmer out. So that's going to be some months from now before we actually put it back in the vehicle. In the meantime, we got other projects we got to take care of. So I hope you enjoyed that update. JJ, yeah, buddy. Appreciate that. Let me know about that. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to put them in the comment section below. Or you can email me to Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com. Oh, and the guys, check this out. The rebuilding kit for this is $420. That's the new pistons, rings, all the gaskets, everything, guys. Check that out. Of course, not the crank, of course, but the, the, the crank bearings. All right, this is Timmy from Astral Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.